Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. We're going to be reacting to Grant Cardone on inflation. So check out this video. I don't think printing money is the cause of inflation, personally. What, what is the cause of inflation? People doing stupid shit with money. Inflation is caused by supply and demand. It is not caused by the printing of money. If you print money or the federal government prints money and fills this building up with money, there's nothing happened. Nothing changed. No pricing changed. They just did a print. If they distribute that money to responsible people and we don't go overspend, we don't create inflation. But when you give a billion dollars or seven trillion dollars, they send out fourteen hundred dollar checks to help people live and people do stupid shit with it. Well, guess what? You're going to inflate everything. All right, Kirby, we have said this plenty of times, if not on this channel, out in public with many people, many conversations. So what are your thoughts on this video? Um, Like you said, we've been saying this for a while. Um, and this is a funny thing. This is a funny thing that I've noticed that's happened in my life. I say something and then people just hear it. Then somebody who has a big... Uh, name, likeness, image, you know, that's all over the social media world. <clears throat> they repeat something that I said verbatim. Uh, and then everybody want to send me what they said. And it's something I already told them. I mean, it's not just in this instance, but a lot of instances. And I'd be like, I told you this two years ago. Now you want to listen to it because Shaq said it or Kobe said it or LeBron said it or whoever said it. I'm like, the truth is the truth no matter what. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. The numbers is the numbers. It don't you don't need to get a call from Jesus to know that if it if it's right, it's right, no matter who said. But anyway, and this is he's absolutely right. And I've talked to people in the comment section, even on his channel, about this. Everybody wanted to keep saying the government prints money. The government prints money. Yeah, they do. But not until it get in the hands of stupid people. Now, this is the thing. I'm not saying stupid people are the poor people. I'm saying the stupid people are the people that are financially illiterate. Who are the people that's financially illiterate? Congress. They are stupid people. When you put money in their hands, they do stupid stuff. That's what caused inflation. During COVID, they printed trillions of dollars. What did Congress do? Oh, let's give it to more people that don't know what to do with money. And again, some people did the right thing. You know, paying down debt was at, you know, at an almost all time high during COVID, you know, with the extra stimulus money, unemployment money. Kudos to those people. But for the most part, people did stupid stuff. They overconsumed. I mean, they even had enhanced food stamps. I mean, every kid had their own food stamp card on top of the mom, mom and dad having food stamp cards and all that. The reason why the price of eggs, beef, chicken, all the stuff that you milk, stuff that you go to the grocery store and get on an everyday basis went up, not because the government printed money. It's because the government gave the money to people that was greedy, people that don't have any financial sense. And then they went to the grocery store and bought over what they need. I remember I. I kid you not. I remember I was going to the grocery store and then my number is 300. And then how I go to the grocery store, I don't like being there long, but I usually get the same things over and over again. And then my mom and my son was with me. They just go on a rampage and do whatever they do. I get to the grocery, I get to the checkout. First off, I had to check out stuff myself. Ultimate no-go. They don't pay me to check out no damn bags. But then... We had a total, after we bagged everything up, we had a total of about eight, nine bags. But then the bill came out to 350. I said, never again will y'all get me in here. And I haven't been in the grocery store since. I mean, I'll go grab like some milk on the run, but I ain't going grocery shopping. Mm -mm -mm -mm. First, you're gonna take my 350, didn't make me work, not gonna happen. But but all that came from people, <laughs> people, <laughs> people actually making People making stupid decisions. People now, instead of getting one gallon of milk, they're getting five gallons of milk. Instead of getting one steak, they're getting 12 steaks. I mean, I literally saw people in my family that never cooked a day in their damn life. The most they ever cooked was chicken nuggets. When the stimulus checks came out, they got barbecue grills with nothing but steak and lobster on there. I said, how the hell you learn to cook like this? 
But just because they had extra money, they had to go do extra stupid stuff. They were doing stupid stuff with their own paycheck. But when they get extra money, they do go do extra stupid stuff. And that's the cause of inflation. Not because the government's printing money. But it's because the money goes to stupid hands. Stupid people do stupid things. Then you get stupid prizes. Like the shirt say, it's all shits and giggles until somebody giggles and shits. And that's what happened during the COVID crisis. Uh, yeah. I don't think people realize how much people were spending like that. Um, I, and that's how they associate that inflation is caused by the printing of money. And they completely forget about everything we've talked about as far as th there was rent forbearance for a full year. There was mortgage forbearance. Student loans were pushed off. And this is just maybe not the government physically giving them the money, but this is extra income in their pockets because they don't have these obligations anymore. And people aren't going to be wise with their money. They're going to go off and spend their money. And shoot, I know people at work that like uh, one lady, she was like, she's like, yeah, is that, is that still going on? Do I still, am I still good on not paying my student loans? She's like, cause I've been buying everything I want. I'm like, geez, I'm like you're part of the problem. <laughs> but exactly, I mean, that's how people, operate with money they're not trying to do anything wise with it if uh and like you said if there was a bunch of me's in the united states there would have been a recession from them giving out all the stimulus checks they don't want <laughs> they don't want people saving money paying off debt i i actually i did they encourage people to go and spend i think that's something that they did as well yeah that was the, that was the, the whole purpose of it yeah. was to stimulate the economy that's yeah the whole purpose. yeah they were encouraging people not to not to save the money but go out and and spend it yeah and look at what it did now um and that's and that's the only thing that the government can do sorry for cutting you off that's one mm -hmm. thing the government could do is stimulate and and people don't get this confused and think this is a partisan argument this is not democrat versus republican because if everybody remember, Donald Trump was the first one that gave out stimulus checks. Donald Trump was the first one that gave enhanced unemployment. Donald Trump was the first one that uh, put the forbearance on student loans. So this is not a partisan thing. I mean, did Biden continue to do the things that Trump did? Yeah, but it's not partisan. It's not a partisan argument at all. This is strictly facts. Both sides of the aisle do it. They give money to stupid people. And the worst people to give money to is Congress. Because they're spending your money. They don't have to pay it. The U.S. citizens have to pay those taxes. Congress just sitting there. Oh, okay. Let's, let's do whatever. Let's do whatever. They don't care. Most of them are not financially literate anyway. That's why you can go build. And they did a study on there. And Alex, I know we're running long. But they did a study they built a park funded by the government in New York. Right down the road, they did a, a it was a restroom in a park funded by the government. And then it was restroom in another park funded by private money. The one that was funded by private money cost $275,000 a bathroom. The one funded by the government cost $6 million. <laughs> And the one that was made by private, <laughs> made by private money looked better than the one the government made. Oh, man. Congress people that the people that you elect are retired, they have no financial sense. And no matter how much people like it or not, United States locally at a county city level, at a state level, at a federal level is nothing but a business. Y'all wouldn't trust these people to run a lemonade stand in your neighborhood. But we give them all this power to do this stuff and then they just throw the money away. And then we wonder where the money go. We gave it to these dummies. Just imagine some remodeling crew like man we got the government contract they probably get so much money off those contracts Jeez, that's the reason why people go for government contracts <laughs> that is the reason why because they know they will overspend every time <laughs> it just makes all the sense in the world yeah jeez that's insane but with all that me say guys if you have any comments let us know down below share this video like the video subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one